Secure is a messaging service email as well uh, that lets you communicate with people in a secure way. And with me is the CEO, Alan uh, to tell us about a new launch, a secure messenger um, that you just launched for, for enterprise. So yes. explain to me what that is. Well, uh, we've had secure messenger for consumers and businesses now uh, with enterprise. And we, we launched actually um, not too long ago a secure uh, chat by invite to 61 countries, which means you can text someone in 61 different countries. So, you know, from Europe, India, Asia, Latin America, and then invite them to chat with you. And this is typically used a lot with businesses where you may have a lawyer, an investment banker, a doctor or a government agent uh, trying to reach someone and have a chat without having to use uh, the free big tech tools that are out there that are compromised, as we know. So now what we did is uh, at the request of some investment bankers, we decided to create an archiving solution. So this new feature takes our product to the next level of enterprise. And also, just to comply with FINRA and other regulation, if you're an investment bank and you want to have your investment bankers and traders use Secure Messenger, because we have the self-destruct timer, uh, that, um, that doesn't comply because they need to archive those conversations for seven to 10 years. And I don't know if you've read lately, US banks are being fined a uh, billion dollars because their employees are using WhatsApp and things like that. It's, it's all over the press, right? I think we may have discussed it before. Mm -hmm. So the, the alternative is to have these big uh, terminals from these big brands that we're not gonna mention here, that costs twenty five, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a year that come with a messenger, but they really just use the messenger. So now for seven bucks a month, you can have an enterprise grade, highly private and secure messenger application. The bank or whoever the organization can store everything for compliance purpose for an inf infinite amount of years really. And then the client and the employee can have the self-destruct feature advantage so that nothing resides on their phone or device. Mm -hmm. Well, and I saw as part of the press release, you had secure archives. So I guess that is particularly good for banks who need yes. to some of this communication. We have our own investment bank uh, that has uh, decided to hopefully uplist us to NASDAQ. So they actually said they, they would use it. You know, they, they need something like that. Mm -hmm. So this is officially being launched next month in October. And it's not just for financial institution. I mean, anybody that needs archiving for, uh, you know, and government employees, you know, you've got Defense Department overseas in the U.S. So it's, it's a pretty cool feature. And for $7 a month, it's just un, unbeatable with all the privacy feature that Secure Messenger comes with. Now, last time we talked, uh, you had seen a significant increase in uh, subscribers, and business, I mean, now that we're kind of, you know, in the fall here, how are things looking? It's looking good. You know, we have, I almost live by my metrics every hour I look at it. Uh, it's, it's addictive, but because essentially the momentum has been strong, uh, even though, of course, the stock market has not been. But internally, we see sales as strong as before or stronger. So we're very comfortable with our projected target. In fact, uh, we just announced a few days ago that we surpassed our internal uh, sales target when it comes to users. There's a company called FRC Research that has done a research on our company. I recommend everybody to go to our corporate side and look at it. We've gone now past those metrics. So we have more users than they predicted by the end of this year. So it's looking good. And of course, we, as we announced in the press release, which came out Monday uh, on the 26th, we basically are now going to do SMB and enterprise, et cetera. So these little features that we do help us. And then we have B2B partnerships, which we will announce. So we're, there's no recession. You know, when you're being hacked, when people need to use email, it doesn't matter what the Dow Jones does. So yeah, so we're lucky like that. We're fortunate. That exactly, exactly what I was going to say. It was like, even though the markets aren't doing so great and globally, there's some issues, people still need this service. Um, 
you know, to protect their, their data. We're still doing business. We're maybe a little more cautious than we were, but you still need to protect your data. So I would you think. Know, that- yeah, you may cut some superfluous expense. I don't want to call it superfluous, but these are necessities for a business to run. You have to protect your data because it's your most valuable asset really for a business. So, and that's globally, as you rightfully mentioned, you know, so I think that kind of business and also cybersecurity companies, I believe that businesses themselves are going to increase. In fact, I've been reading, they are increasing their cybersecurity budget because that's not stopping. They may cut someplace, they may cut marketing, they may cut other things. But nobody's cutting uh, security and cybersecurity. So we're we're fortunate to be in a sector that's extremely strong. We do not see a recession in our sales. We see strong momentum. And hopefully the market will realize a quarter or two down the road that, you know, our company is extremely undervalued at what one and a half time book value and three times cash, right? Yeah. So let's talk about the market opportunity um, with the secure messenger for enterprise. How big could this be? This could be massive. There's another thing that we announced as well. We announced mass onboarding. So this request came from um, a defense department in in an emerging market, I can't discuss which one, that wanted to onboard a thousand people at once potentially. And we had to kind of scram to get this thing done because now you can have banks, hospitals, law firms, government agency, corporates, you know, they want to have 100, 500, 10,000 people on board. Now we have that enterprise feature uh, that will be done this one also end of this uh, end of this month. So for October, we have that. There's no limit. And now that we'll have that for next year we're going to target heavily the bigger companies because they have a lot more to lose too you know they spend fortune on it this is an extremely competitive offer so we we strongly believe when it comes to our messenger that we have a very unique uh, proposal and offering we, we've been told that this if we can achieve abc you know that'd be fantastic and we are achieving that with those features so mass onboarding and also archiving of your messengers. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Great for the update, Alon. And I look forward to seeing you in person here in New York in October. Me too. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jane.